people that want that choose to live in a Cobb house, I think by making that decision, they get to be involved in their building process and living in, in an artwork, in a piece of art that, uh, that's not found in regular construction unless you get something that's very expensive. If when you look around and you'll notice the different niches and arches in the house is it really brings out the sculptural elements and the artistic ability that people have but they didn't know they have. Houses originated in England and Devon and Wales and they were just built from the earth that was in the areas there which is a mixture of sand, clay, straw and water. They figure that Cobb wears an inch per century so they used to build the walls two feet thick just to make sure they were going to be around for a long time. Building with Cobb is a very physical process. Everything's mixed with your feet. The Cobb's all picked up by hand or with pitchfork. It's put on the wall and then it's worked into the wall with your hands and your fingers. So there's a lot of embodied energy in houses. And I've seen tours where people will come in a finished Cobb house and they'll just stop and look around and touch the walls. And, and they don't do that with drywall. And I think a lot of what they're feeling is just all the energy that people put into, into building those walls. When you look at what goes into a new house day, today, there's a lot of polyvinyl chlorides, there's a lot of carpet, uh, the countertops, there's a lot of embodied energy and there's a lot of very toxic off-gassing substances. So I believe that by building your house out of earth you can stay away from that so people that are developing uh, sensitivities to different materials would be much better off in, in a house like this. There's a lot of curves, very feminine shapes. It's a, it's a very different feeling in a cob house. I've heard it described as like living in a hug.